Each year, Thailand welcomes 32 million people from across the globe. People travel to the country to experience the beautiful beaches, vast landscapes, and sample the fascinating culture the country has to offer. Tourism supports the economy a great deal. Shops and businesses orientate themselves around providing the tourists with the experience they want. Almost every street, shop or temple has the elephant symbol somewhere to see. Wherever you look, it's easy to see the tourist love for the animal. It doesn't take long when looking through social media to see a photo of a celebrity or maybe even a friend posing with these elephants. Unaware of the impact they're having by supporting and sharing these experiences. We travelled to Northern Thailand to visit the Kindred Spirit Elephant Sanctuary. The sanctuary was located within a Karen Hill Tribe village. We were greeted with a warm welcome from the staff and smiles from the villagers and children. The staff and visitors all live in homestays with a Karen family who provide them with a bedroom and a traditional meal each night. The sanctuary has a wonderful working relationship with the village, allowing them both to be sustainable. Volunteers and guests pay to see the elephants in their natural habitat and live amongst the locals. The money generated helps to sustain the local economy, an example of how ethical tourism can benefit everyone involved. Kerry McRae founded the Kindred Spirit Elephant Sanctuary with her partner, Sombat, a Thai native. Originally from Northern Ireland, her passion for animal conservation drew her to Thailand six years ago. I managed to get a job working on another elephant project in Thailand. That is also where I met my partner, Sombat, and he was working together with the elephants from his family in one of the tourist camps. It was a camp with very little regulations. We wanted to find a way to help the elephants, which is why we started up Kindred Spirit Elephant Sanctuary. Now able to bring in volunteers, visitors and staff from across the world, Kindred Spirit Elephant Sanctuary is in full swing. Meet the staff, Jade, Alex and Bea. We'd be joining them on a hike early in the morning to see the elephants. The remote location of the sanctuary enables a unique approach to elephant tourism. The trek passes through hills, surrounded by forests and rice fields. It can sometimes take up to two hours to find the elephants as they're free to roam on over 4,000 acres of land. And after hours of hiking, we caught a glimpse of what we come here to see. The staff explained that letting the elephants roam in their natural environment was essential to their well-being. I think it is very important for elephants to have the space to be able to exhibit their natural behaviours. We can see how much of a change being able to have that freedom and the space to be able to choose what they want to do can have on an elephant. I think people don't understand necessarily yet what means ethical and what doesn't mean ethical. I think people associate riding with unethical and that's not necessarily the case. If you're giving them a bath in the river, if they're coming to you and you're feeding them, that's still not ethical practices because they're being forced to do something that they don't want to do and the training that they receive in order to be able to interact with tourists the way they do. 
that's the issue, that's the problem. They are still wild and people need to remember that. It's not about their experience as tourists and that's the point of these projects. First, people come with good intentions. They go to these places because they do love elephants and they want to see elephants and they think they're doing the right thing. But unfortunately, these places that might not be the most ethical are the ones that are being advertised in hostels, in hotels, online. They have a lot more recognition because uh, they'll have partnerships with different hostels and such like that and companies to bring people in. So they think they're doing the right thing, but in reality, they're just proposing the unethical trade of elephants. The lack of education is definitely on the forefront of the issues for tourism. I think elephants are just incredible animals and they really do need help. There are more elephants in captivity than there are in the wild in Thailand. People see famous people or their friends and everyone wants that like photo that has more likes and having famous people go to these places and do things like that. There are a lot of people's role models, so people then want to come out here and do things like that. So I think they are the biggest problems that we face. The elephant um, in a former time, they fight. We compare like a, the, the symbol of winner but now it's changing. It depends on the, the, the company or the tourism. If some place, they, if they treat them well, they, people love it, but some place they treat them not well, there's, when people see that, then they are not happy. Here, they treat them well, then they take them back home. We took a step back and the elephants return to exploring the forest. The sanctuary operates in a way where the humans follow the elephants and not the elephants following them. It was an amazing spectacle, knowing they were free to roam naturally with no demands. The calm nature of the elephants was reflected in the peaceful village they surrounded. The people are so humble, so hospitable. There's like no knocking on doors. You know, you walk past in the morning and they'll invite you to eat rice with them. These people are incredibly self-sufficient. When they have a problem, they just fix it. It's a very money-powered society in the Western world. And here, the people have very little, but they're just so genuinely happy. They don't need a lot. And I think it's because that they don't have this overwhelming Western influences of buying a new iPhone and having a new pair of trainers and things like that. I absolutely love seeing the kids not being on a cell phone and not being glued to a TV all day. They're riding right on their bicycles. They're playing with marbles and swimming in the river. And I find that beautiful. The village brings out something in people that is just like a pure joy and happiness of simplicity. So I was born here. I left the village when I was 13. At the first time, I down to the town. I lived there for three years. And then people are there is not friendly like the village. So life in the city, I think that we must hurry all the time. When I go into the city in Chiang Mai, it's really overwhelming. It's really difficult. And here it's just like a very calm, relaxed lifestyle. It doesn't really ever get very stressful. Our time at the sanctuary had come to an end. We'd be traveling to Chiang Mai, one of the many tourist-filled cities in Thailand, home to many elephant-themed parks and attractions. It was clear to see how much the elephant is celebrated in Thailand, embedded in their culture and used as a tourist attraction. 
It's understandable that people want to interact with the elephants while they're here, but at what cost? We visited a well-known park as we were curious to see just how different the approach to elephant tourism really is within the city. The body language of the elephants makes it clear to see. This isn't how they should be living. The rocking of their heads is a sign of mental distress amongst animals, caused by the conditions they're kept in and the training they receive to perform in these places. The visitors seemed unaware of how their admission fee is supporting this treatment. Elephants have been a part of Thai culture for centuries, but they are only forced to perform in these parks due to tourist demand. Real change will only come when we as tourists decide to spend our money elsewhere, showing our support for ethically driven projects, which will in turn encourage park owners to change their approach. We considered how much happier these elephants would be, living freely, like those at Kindred Spirit Elephant Sanctuary. There has definitely been a shift recently. I have seen that camps are starting to move towards a more natural experience, which is obviously something that needs to be encouraged. And I think as people and tourists become more educated and more aware and they want to see more of the wild aspect versus the experience of an elephant painting and doing these things that others wanted to see in the past. I think people are becoming more educated so they'll want more of the wild aspect to it. It is something that should be focused on a lot more than what it is currently being focused on. Even though you come in mind to help elephants improve their welfare, just living with such incredible people, you realize that it, it's not just the animals that you need to help, it's all around. You should be also reaching out to the communities that are working with these animals as well. It kind of brings people back down to earth. It connects people back with nature. People get to see elephants. They get to live with an incredible community. And I think people just always leave with a very positive attitude. I think this is a very unique happiness that it's hard to find anywhere else. It's very hard to change a complete culture and a complete country, but slowly I think that we can educate them as well as they can educate us and work together in order to help bring the elephants back into the wild.